Hey everyone, it's Maria with Tarte Cosmetics. I'm gonna show you how to get a really cool look, one of my favorite looks to do with our new Swamp Queen palette. Let's get started. Okay, so there are nine eyeshadows, which is super rad. There is a bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea, which is very bunny. And then we have a blush and a highlighter. The highlighter I'm obsessed with um, as a personal favorite. Everything in this palette is really rad and super wearable. Um, but Gator Wings highlighter, I already have some on because like I just like couldn't even start without it on. So I'm really excited. And you got an eyeshadow brush. My latest and greatest and most exciting eyeshadow base that I've been using is our Clay Pot Shadow Liner in white. Think of it as an eye brightener. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelid first in a very sheer layer. Press it flat on the lid. Make sure your base is nice and even just because, you know, if you have like a big clump here or it's much darker or like brighter, oops, much darker or brighter somewhere else, that's how your shadow payoff is gonna look. So that's why you want it to be really even. You just wanna blend it out before it completely dries down. So if someone texts you or your phone rings or whatever happens, um, blend out that shadow. Use your finger a little bit. So I'm gonna do my crease first. There really are no rules to how you do your makeup. I just like to sculpt my eye first so I know what product is going where. I'm going to use natural peaches. Okay, so you wanna press the crease brush. You want it to be nice and fluffy into the crease of the eye, which is right above the eyelid and right below the brow bone. And I like to keep it pressed down onto the skin and just blend away. Using our eye shader brush that comes in the palette, I'm gonna I'm going to apply Sassy Bun. It's a flat brush, so I want to lay it right flat on my eyelid. I'm gonna start in the center. Color payoff is insane. And just slightly blend it over the lid. I like to work in layers, so I'll just do like sheer layers. Like I'll get the eyeshadow on and I'll get all of the work done and then I'll go back and I'll do a second layer. All right, so you'll need like some type of pencil brush for this. So this guy is good because it'll really grab those outer corners for your deeper shades. For that, I'm gonna use Sippy Sippy. So I'm gonna take my pencil brush and I'm just going to pencil in. And then I'm gonna take my crease brush and just blend it, blend it in. Same on this side, and then blend it out. So you'll just basically keep repeating these steps. So you'll add more until you're satisfied with the color saturation. So now I'm gonna take that same pencil brush and I'm going to use Dog Man. It is gorgeous. And then I'm going to apply it on my inner corners right here. So I'm gonna dip back into natural peaches just right in the center there and make sure to blend it all out. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna sculpt underneath my eye, and all that means is, you know, shading underneath the eye area. I don't want it to be super lined. I just want everything to connect and for it to be like, sort of like warm under there and natural. So I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go back into Dog Man and just shade right underneath my eyes. So keep the brush pressed to the skin and that's how you get a shading motion. Okay, so one of the final steps is tight lining. For that, I'm gonna use our black Amazonian clay pot and a thin eyeliner brush. What this does is it makes your lashes look thicker. It really frames the eye and defines the eye without being heavy black liner. So you can see the difference. I'm gonna pause so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna do one of my favorite steps um, of 
any makeup application and that's highlighting. I'm gonna use Gator Wings. It's gorgeous for the inner corners of my eyes. And for that, just use a little baby tiny eyeshadow brush. For my final step, I'm gonna paint my lashes with Tardis Lash Paint. It's my favorite mascara. The brush is molded. It's like rubber, which is my favorite type of brush. And it just goes right in, coats every lash, even like the tiniest ones, and it's super black. And with the Graveyard Girl collection, we launched two lippy paints, one of them being a like a perfect pinky lavender nude shade changes on the person that wears it. The shade is called Texas Toast. All right guys, that's it. This is one of my favorite looks. We're really excited to launch this collection with Graveyard Girl and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks guys, bye.